Now, sleek, futuristic designs for 25 years. He draws his inspiration from nature, where he says there are no straight lines, only soft, rounded shapes. There is barely one straight line of some millimetres to be found. Only the human being, the last specimen to come to this earth, invented this, those, those uh, uh, hard lines. Kalani says nature's curves are aerodynamic and therefore naturally efficient. For instance, this giant passenger plane called the Megalodon is modelled on a creature he considers aerodynamically perfect, the shark. The full-size version would be 120 metres long, carry 1,000 passengers and cruise at just below the speed of sound. Kalani's design philosophy has found him a devoted following in Japan, which he attributes to his affinity with nature. I am trying to be a translator from nature into technology. And when they saw my planes uh, copied or translated from sharks, in my cars with soft shapes of beetles. They immediately understood there must be a man willing and able to be somewhat of a sort of Buddhist designer. And they put me on their, on their roofs immediately. After two and a half years in Japan, I was number one. Kalani is so confident of his popularity with the Japanese that he has no qualms about taking credit for contemporary Japanese car design. The Japanese have learned my lesson. Five years of yelling and kicking their backside. They learned their message. And they are building cars of a very smooth shape with very nice interiors and high quality. Efficient transport is one of Kalani's preoccupations. He is designing giant passenger planes for the Russians and for the West Germans, monorail trains which will travel at 700 kilometres an hour. He says such speeds will make trains more competitive and encourage more people to use them. I'm going to design the trains of tomorrow. You see, you can't see cars as a transportation means alone. They have made, have been made with, together with planes to take all the burden of transportation today. And both are rotten. As well as improving the aerodynamics of planes, trains and automobiles, Kalani says much can be done to streamline the engines propelling them. He's working with the British car manufacturer Jaguar to revamp their racing car engine Outside from the inside out. Nobody has ever thought of the internal flow of air within the car when the car enters radiator opening and the air goes somewhere without any directional and any stabilizing or any intelligent flow pattern, internal flow pattern. And here is the same, even more. And those engines will be the competition engines of the future, well designed from within not from outside. I don't care a damn thing how they look outside. Inside, where the things are doing, where the power is produced. On another level, Kalani wants to persuade commuters to leave their four and six cylinder cars in the garage and drive lightweight, low powered vehicles like these. As a third world vehicle, there's room in the back, Kalani says, for a pig and some vegetables. And for long hauls, or if you run out of pedal power, there's this easily removed and easily installed two-stroke engine. With only 30 or 60 cc engines and top speeds of 80 or 100 kilometres an hour, they burn less fuel and produce less pollution. Kalani is above all else enduring. From 60s radicalism to 90s pragmatism, he's managed to command a corner of the fickle design market for 25 years. And at this rate, it seems more than likely Luigi Calani, designer extraordinaire, will still be designing for the 21st century when we arrive there. By imitating forms of nature,